Hey guys, Luke from LukeDemarco.com here with another video tutorial for you today. Today I want to show you iPhone users how to get songs from your computer into iTunes and onto your iPhone as a ringtone that you can actively use. Now there's many ways to go about doing this that I've found on the internet, but in terms of programs and things that come pre-installed on Mac OS X, this is the easiest way by far. So you're going to need four things. The first thing is you're going to need an iPhone, obviously. Second thing is you're going to need GarageBand 09. Third thing, iTunes. And the fourth thing, the copy of the audio file that you want to use as your ringtone. Right now I just have a song that I pulled from iMovie 09, which is called Breakbeat Long. Uh, you might recognize it. It was uncopyrighted, so I figured, why not? So what you want to do is you want to open up GarageBand. And when you open up GarageBand, this menu should pop up that throws a bunch of different options at you. But in your sidebar, you'll notice that there's an option called iPhone Ringtone, and that's what you want to click on. Now, you're greeted by three different options or icons now, Example Ringtone, Loops, and Voice. You want to go ahead and click Voice, and then click Choose. Now, you can name your ringtone whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to name it uh, MacBook Ringtone. And it'll create your ringtone, and then it'll open up GarageBand 09. Now, up here in the top left-hand corner, you'll notice that I have two tracks, a male track and a female track. Um, right now, we're just going to ignore one of the tracks, and we're going to use the male track. So, now that you've got your male track set, go over to the right side of GarageBand and click Basic Track, No Effects. So, that's Basic Track, No Effects. And then up here, you'll notice that you have no effect because you don't want any effects on your ringtone, unless you do. By far, you can play around with that. But uh, if you want just the song, nothing else, no effects is the way to go. Now what you want to do is open up Finder or just drag and drop your file into GarageBand 09. So for instance, mine's on my desktop. So I'm going to take the file and drag and drop it in. It'll import the files. And now you see that when I play in GarageBand 09, breakbeat long praise. So now, you'll notice that I have this orange bar right at the top here. It's a yellowish orange bar. Now, if you knew, or whether or not you knew, but uh, iPhone ringtones can only be 20 to 30 seconds long. So this orange or yellowish bar determines what part of the song is going to be mixed down and then sent to your iPhone. So I don't want this beginning part in my ringtone. I don't want to have to listen to that quiet every time my iPhone rings. What I want to do is I want to drag this yellow orangish bar to where I want it to start, which is right here where things start to pick up in the song. Now that I have all that set, and now that you have all that set, you can look further into your song for more places you want your ringtone to start, but for now we're just going to use this as an example. So now that your iPhone ringtone is set, everything's in place, go up to share, send ringtone to iTunes. It's just as easy as that. That'll create a mix down, convert it, and then that'll also open up iTunes right now. Now, as you'll notice, my ringtone just started playing. It's in iTunes now. It's called MacBook Ringtone because that's what we named it. Uh, the It's a 20 second long ringtone. Artist obviously is me, and you can change all this. But most importantly, it's in our ringtones folder so that when you go and you uh, plug in your iPhone to iTunes, it'll sync into your ringtones folder. So you don't have to go into the iTunes store and pay $2 for songs that are iPhone ringtone approved. So guys, this is Luke from LukeDemarco.com. Let me know what you thought of this tutorial or if I should do more. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, guys.